Hi everybody, here is Christian from Teamwork Cast. Hi, my name is Miguel, I'm from the Berlin Meta. And this is the Netrunner with Teamwork Cast, uh, 24th of May, Euregio 3 tournament in Aachen. And this is the round number two. Game number one, we have on the left we have uh, Ricardo, and on the right we have Wojtek. And uh, hi Miguel, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. Um, trying to get more practice, but um, work is getting in the way, so unfortunately not as much netrunner as I would like to. Oh man, I, if, if we only could kind of go pro and, and just <laughs> earn your living with netrunner, that wouldn't be the best, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, I would be the worst netrunner <laughs> player pro ever. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you being uh, on board here is a bit of a random because uh, you actually are not familiar with neither of those players, right? Um, not really. All right, so I, I no, don't know Ricardo uh, myself personally. I think he's originally from Portugal, but he's playing in uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the right we have Wojtek, who is fr uh, from Poland, but he's playing in Germany. <laughs> yeah, we, are, we have someone by going by the same name who is also from Poland. Oh, sweet. Uh, so we already started this, uh, this game and Wojtek is playing the next uh, HB Next Identity, mm -hmm. which allows you to install up to three eyes, was it? Yes, right. And up to, at the beginning of the turn, and and then he does the mandatory draw, and then he starts the game. And sadly, this time around, he only has two eyes installed at the beginning of the game, so that's a bit of a problem. But he follows up with a sure gamble uh, hedge fund, and then installs another ice. So I see Ricardo's playing Kate. He is. Um, I suppose it's going to be the very uh, successful prepaid Kate. I hope so, uh, or I guess I guess maybe I don't hope so. Maybe it's going to be something more interesting. He does a dirty laundry on the archives and plays a clone ship. So, so far no indications. But you know, dirty laundry kind of tells us this is probably going to be a prepaid. Yeah, seems rather standard play. Yeah, both are using my beautiful uh, designed uh, Carti's delivery service, Matt. Uh, completely independent from each other, or uh, they created this, uh, ordered this. <laughs> Looks awesome, I must confess. It does look good on the zebra, <laughs> I, I have to admit, yeah. And so kind of like, I kind of, I prefer those mats that where it's like, you know, very clean and where you can actually see the cards playing, being played very well. Uh, Alright, so we see an install in that remote server. Mm, can you tell me something about those crowns on Ricardo's mat? So Ricardo is using uh, Astra, the Astra beer tokens. There is mm. there is a there is a beer called Astra uh, from from Hamburg, mm -hmm. and they're using those token those uh, the the I don't know the bottle caps as tokens for the various things, mostly for Astra strip because then it's Astra Astro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get it. Uh, uh, okay, so we see a run on the R and Ds, and there is a architect protecting the R and Ds. So now the architect fires. There is no breakout. Uh, an ice gets installed in front of R and D, and maybe something from his HQ. Yeah, probably because there is nothing in archives. So uh, I think I see. saw a um, an Adonis comp um, campaign on his hand, hmm. but that might be already installed in the server. Oh no, he didn't ins didn't install the Adonis. He didn't decide not to ins this install anything. So then we see a run on the HQ, and now uh oh, this is going to be troublesome because this is a uh, Lancelot. No, not Lancelot. A uh, Galahad. Galahad. Ah, that's the um, Grail Eyes barrier, right? It is. Uh, just in the run, uh, and Wojtek doesn't have any other Grail Eyes on hand, so luckily Ricardo, um, you know, go runs free because this could have been easily like four um, uh, met damage. Yeah, with two Merlins. Very yeah. nasty. Very, very nasty. Another Dutch Laundry on Archives, and we see uh, a Lady being installed. So that's a beautiful breaker. Yeah, that's seen a lot of play recently, at least in Berlin. Yes. It really changed the, the way uh, um, like shape of decks are built, especially when it comes to um, barrier breakers. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we see a score. That was a sneaky, sneaky little, uh, you know, uh, rushed out accelerated beta test. Let's see if Wojtek has the balls to trigger it. Doesn't seem like it. Mm, and it's not inclined to trigger it. Maybe a good idea because he doesn't have any Jacksons on board apparently. So that could can go south so easily. And there it is. You called <laughs> it prepaid. Third turn. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, that's something that you usually want to see when you play with Kate. That's yeah. such a huge money boost, it's incredible. And then you have the uh, extended Akamatsu membership console. <laughs> <laughs> the Astrobrötchen, as we call them in Germany. Uh, it's uh, Astrolabe. Uh, yes, so we see it installed in that, in that scoring server, right? not installed here. Uh, in a scoring server in, you know, in, in brackets because, uh, or in quotation marks, because, you know, it's not a very, very protected server right now. Maybe that's a add-on actually right now. Yeah, but apparently. At least that's, that's what I would do. Yeah. Wojtek is not a player who plays uh, frequently because he's kind of like, a, he's working on a ship. So he's sailing a lot, ah. and so he like occasionally he just leaves for months and end and then returns and has to catch up. Uh, so this is a Galahad, another Galahad in there, and the lady gets uh, breaks the uh, it gets broken by the lady, and uh, now that's just the uh, sexy bots. Sexy oh, bots gets actually trashed. trashed it. Okay. I usually don't trash them until they are not at least rest once. Yeah, yeah, because then it's like at least we both spent money for this. Yeah. But returning through the Galahad would have meant spending one more uh, lady counter. And then, of course, the oh, corporation is always like, all right, now you have proven that you are able to run on the server. I'm going to ice it up even more. Yeah, makes sense. But it seems that Wojtek has trouble installing ice. He is, doesn't have too much cre credits. He's uh, clicking for credits. Oh, yeah, and then Shrew Gamble. So, all right, that's really nice. Uh, not Shrew Gamble, Hedge Fund. Uh, that's really nice for him because he can catch up monetarily. Hmm. Ricardo, oh man, Th that is so so nice if you can can pull this off when you can do the lucky find with the prepaid. Yeah, so that's a net of seven credits. Oh yes. Yeah, that's, that's such an awesome combination. Yeah. Especially I play the, like yeah. lucky find in my noise deck, but without the prepaid, <laughs> it's still <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this lucky find is already good by its by its um, on its own, but with the prepaid, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we see Ricardo poking on the HQs. Apparently, good idea when we look at the hand of, of Wojtek. Is that a three-five that I'm seeing there? In yeah, one of the shards. There is some hefty. There is some hefty, hefty agendas on there. <laughs> but only sees the Adonis. Lucky. Another, another, another trash. Six. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's trying to keep him poor, which probably is a good idea. It works. Both are kind of like at the same credit spot right now right now yeah and it's uh, unlikely that the next um id has some kind of kill option besides yeah. from the merlins it has like reduced influence doesn't it um no oh yes you're right it's uh, a 12 influence card yeah yeah which is a horrible idea i mean that's that idea oh man that id is just not there's they could have made it a bit more strong i feel yeah but I think hmm. lots of people have been um, hoping that there are some more cards who's, which support the next um, suite. Maybe. Yeah, yeah but uh, I don't think that it has been that successful. So far, not so much. But, uh, you know, this is Breaker Bay release. Uh, the last legal set is Breaker Bay. I don't know if, if, if Next Gold is even released yet. Do you know? No, but I can find out for you. Oh, well, that would be great. Uh, meanwhile, I continue staying with the game. Here, so we see uh, Install Advanced Advance by Wojtek. Next Gold was released in the Valley. Mm, so it, Breaker Bay was after the Valley, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. All right, so um, Next Gold is already present here. Install Advanced Advance. Interesting. Why would he install Advanced Advance if he knows that Ricardo can get in that server? Uh oh. <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> I, as a cut, I would be nervous about this. This is this is uh, some hefty bluff here. Ricardo just uh, monies up a bit, uh, a little bit. Yeah, the, um, white text deck surely seems to be a, a, an unusual construction. Definitely. I mean, already the idea is, is kind of like an unusual choice. Oh, professional context. That's something I haven't seen in a while. Yeah, especially like in in uh, in Kate. Yeah. And these days, you know, everything's all about the baby. Right. Uh, that card has it. had such a huge impact. Mm -hmm. And there he goes. I think I would have done the same. 
the running on HQ? Mm -hmm. Oh no, 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 no he's running, server. runs the server. Oh man, and b the bluff was cold, the bluff was cold. Mm, so that is a um, uh, Utopia fragment? <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah. So this is the one where if uh, Wojtek had scored it, he would be able to install ice without paying for it. At least only, the first one. only on the first click, or yeah. on, only the first ice that he installs, I think something like that. Yeah, yeah, only the first one. But you know, that's really great for um, for kind of like a, a deck that plays with a lot of tiny ice that you can create like huge towers of. Oh, it's actually not the Utopia fragment because that one is the pay two additional um, credits ah. for each advancement token. So it is the Eden fragment then? Yeah, it has to be. Mm -hmm. Wojtek installs another thing in front of HQ. Thinking about this. That's usually a tell that he has some agendas on his hand. Yeah, I would assume so. Because otherwise uh, I would uh, eyes up the uh, scoring server and try to score another agenda. Yeah. On the other hand, oh, he put something in the server? Uh-huh. Well, he's already down to Adonis campaigns. Yeah, so maybe the last Adonis campaign in there. <laughs> Uh, Ricardo's still not seeing any SNCs or anything, so that's a bit of a concerning situation for him. Yeah, so um, he keeps drawing like mad. Yeah, draws with a uh, professional context. That's something. That's something that's really great about professional context. You can just keep drawing and moneying up to play the things that you uh, just drew up. Yeah, but you usually want to see it very early in the game because yeah. later on it's just a huge uh, slowdown. Most definitely, and of course, it's it's it's, uh, it's you know five credits. It's kind of like a hefty hefty price to pay. There are some thunderstorms going on in the background. If you guys hearing this, well, well, I was wondering if you were breathing <laughs> heavily into the microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. But but it's just <laughs> also uh, so you see uh, the SMC drop finally and running on HQ, and that is the next bronze. The next bronze is that the code gate. <laughs> That is the code gate, indeed. There is just one next out at this point, so it's strength one. Uh, but Ricardo will have to get the code gate breaker in order to get past it. And he will. He pops the SMC for two credits uh, mid-run. And I wonder what kind of breaker we'll see. Oh, mm, classic. classic. Standard Guardian Blade. Guardian Blade from the core set, indeed. There's so many cards still from the core set which are viable. Yeah. Um... Actually, that's, that's the only Corset card he's playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right, but still it's one, it's one of those cards that you still see. Uh, yeah, definitely. No, no, it's a, it's, it's a really solid code kit breaker, set the standard for sure. And the fact that it keeps the strength sometimes actually makes a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, so we see access is one card, and now the lady has run out of the tokens. So we're going to have to do something about that lady. Well, he can still trash it and then uh, use the clone ship. But he has to make another install. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's kind of unfortunate. If he could, you know, if I, I bet he would have wished that he could, that he had to pep the um, SMC, you know, at the final ice. So he kind of kind of switched the the order was different, so to speak. So yeah. while he's selling Gordon Blake, he can crash that lady. But that's not, not something that happened. Meanwhile, Wojtek installed something uh, in front of the scoring server and an unprotected server. Yeah, and um, Ricardo gets to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Lots of draw on the card. We see another copy of the Astrolabe, something that he can't deal with right now. And drawing even more, wow. Yeah, he still doesn't seem to have his, his complete suite there. No, no, and he, I, I guess he can he can now SMC out the, uh, clone ship out the SMC to install something else. So if he really needs it. Yeah, that's that's another option, yeah, that's right. All right, runs on that uh, unprotected remote. That is a Jackson. All right, <laughs> and uh, Wojtek decides that he uh, will use it actually to get back the sexy bots and some more economy. Wojtek is is aching for economy. Yeah, that might be already too late at this point. It's uh, he's kind of a bit under pressure. That's that is uh, that is uh, definitely true. He is one point behind. I see that two points. Uh, Ricardo's at three points. Mm. And now uh, we see some discards by Ricardo. Oh, clone ship discard! Oof, 
Uh, I mean, Parasite discard. Parasite, yeah. Well, he, he can still uh, use it mid-run. Mm -hmm. Some people like to do that or prefer to do it that way. Um, I also see it quite often used at the end of the corporation's turn, so it gets the token immediately afterwards. Yeah, um, right. And and that's a, well, always a good way to trash something like the um, the Galahads here, for example, which I think are only strength one. That's true. They are very vulnerable. Yeah. That's actually the main reason I I don't install the Galahads. I usually keep them on hand. Mm, because they can provide you with the end run if you need it. Yeah, exactly. And then I I rather prefer installing a Merlin or a Lancelot. Yeah, they're definitely difficult, more difficult to break. The breakers are difficult to find. Um, like, you know, having a sentry with... I guess sentry is the most easiest, but I think the Merlin is very difficult to break for, for uh, something like criminals. Mm -hmm. Because it's strength 4. And that's outside of Yogg range. You know, there's lots of things going on. There. Ah, another core set card. Data sucker. Yay! <laughs> Data sucker, sweet. So now, whenever Ricardo runs on the central server, he would get token on this, and the tokens make uh, the ice weaker if he uses them. And that is then the sure gamble. Another corset card. <laughs> <Corset> card. <laughs> Using this one prepaid. Yeah, he gains a net of five with the prepaid credit. That's pretty sweet. Hmm, Wojtek is really not doing so well, He's, there's just a handful of credits, there are six credits, not a lot of things he can rest that way, uh, he really needs to s establish some kind of source of income or else uh, he won't be able to keep out Ricardo for much longer. I'm actually surprised that Ricardo doesn't run on, I guess he's looking for a century breaker. Apparently, yeah. Uh, just uh, to get to, to into uh, R&D, but those yeah. runs could still turn out to be quite expensive. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there he goes and advances wow. twice. Wojtek continues being aggressive with his advances. So far, Ricardo wasn't faced by those um, by those aggressive plays. Uh, but Wojtek is a is a kind of like a it's, it's difficult to read Wojtek simply because sometimes he's like sometimes so cr so crazy out of touch with the meta. Mm -hmm. Because he leaves for for longer periods of time, that you know, once he then comes back and then has like his own ideas on how to, how to play certain cards, like it's it's very very difficult to to, to read him, and the, the, that makes him like a formidable opponent. Yeah, that's that's actually an advantage if you don't yeah. uh, know the people and and they don't know you. Mm. Here you end up to make the most unusual plays and get away with it. Yeah. So like for example, myself, I wouldn't have run on that two advanced card in the server that I can easily access. I would like think that's a cerebral overwriter, because I've seen those uh, a lot in our meta recently. Yeah, but maybe not with next. Yeah, I don't know. Having only well, well, that's not an influence card. That's right. The cerebral overwriter is in house. Yeah. Or maybe like to, to to have synergies with a gold. I don't know. So we see a run on that server, and that is a bronze again. So the in identical servers here. Mm, I, how did he recur that lady? Oh, that's his cerebral overwriter. Oh, hold it. <laughs> oh man, love it. Two brain damage. Oh, two brains. Oh, oh and sniping and them. Wow, mm, what a snipe there. Oh, love it. Love it. And now, of course, Ricardo is is in a dangerous situation. He has to really consider his next moves now. Every in install advance card can be another overrider. Uh, I love that that he just did it again, and <laughs> and you know, because of the first time, Ricardo thought, yeah, yeah, that's another bluff. Yeah, but it was too easily to call because he, he had all the options to get in there. Yeah. And to answer your question, he scavenged the uh, lady. Ah, he scavenged her. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good. I, I, we haven't noticed this. Oh no, so Claude. Claude being discarded. Nice. Well, I don't think we're going to need Claude for in this game. Yeah, it's a good choice. Uh, so yeah, Wojtek uh, had to pay for the Cerebral Overwriter, so now he's completely broke. Uh, so yeah, he really needs to find some kind of ways of doing... Oh, yeah, that's a good choice, the uh, peak efficiency. Yeah, so he gains five. Mm -hmm, that's good. Bouncing back into... Hedge fund range. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically a hedge fund right now. Uh, all, but you can play it with just one credit out. Um, and then installing. Wojtek surely has balls. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe there's some... We, so far we haven't seen... I guess the the um, Grail Suite is the influence, right? So that would be 9 influence for the Grail set. Yeah, probably. Oh, Parasite on the... Clone chip Parasite. So as we told, at the end of the Corporation's turn, he clone chipped the Parasite in here, so the... Um, um, the Galahad had to dice immediately because mm -hmm. then uh, the runner's turn begins and it gets a token immediately. Yeah. Such a nice play. Um, I was really surprised when I saw it the first time and then I was like, oh, right, that's an option. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Yeah, sometimes you can get, get even more out of each card when you just time, time it properly. Uh, and when you can kind of think about when is the best play to play this. Uh, Alright, so we see a run on the R&Ds, finally their shape is gonna shape and they're gonna access R&D eventually. And that is a, a next silver. Yeah, so that's a barrier with strength one mm -hmm. and gains enter run for each rest piece of next, which is going to hurt now with um, Lady. Yeah. Because those are now three enter runs. Yeah, and Lady has to, makes two subroutines, right? Right, so that would be oh. two tokens. Oh, eats up those tokens like there's like they're nothing, and then he runs on that uh, next bronze. Oh, no, it's another remote server, and that is an ash trash of ash. Yeah, and then another clone ship, the third one now. And click for professional contacts. Yeah. Huh, this is interesting. This is an interesting game. Like, uh, it seems like Ricardo can get in everywhere, and Wojtek really is struggling financially. But on the other hand, Wojtek had, was able to deal with this one, uh, you know, psychological and, of course, uh, you know, like a damage blow. So it's kind of like uh, he can kind of play around with Ricardo a little bit yeah. if he has the money. But if he re if if Ricardo make, does his math, he will certainly um, know that uh, if if um, Wojtek plays with the Grail Eyes Suite, that there won't be any kill cards um, additionally in his deck because they're no. just too expensive. No, probably not. So we see another um, parasite on the next silver. I think that's a very good target for this. Yeah, it would be uh, too expensive using the lady tokens. Yeah. And I think like it's just generally like a weakness of the Grail suite where it's very easy to just kill a bunch of them with the parasites to make them so weak so they never get strong enough to actually do the taxing. Yeah, that's one of the major reasons I don't use Galahad, like I said before. I prefer something that is a bit stronger, that can survive longer. Oh yeah, uh, that's that applies to the Grail. I said Grail, I meant of course next. Um, I ah, think of both course. of them. Both of them are, are kind of like vulnerable to, to parasites. Yeah, and until you reach that state where they are actually making a, a huge impact, um, yeah. you usually have already won the game. Yeah. So we see the SMC install, barely enough M MU for this. And that's really great for Ricardo, but he's, he decides to be passive. He doesn't want to... Act. Oh, there is an upgrade installed in on R&D. Interesting. Yeah, right. Huh. Probably a crazy no, also too much influence. Yeah. All right, so running somewhere on uh, R and D, and he surely is going to get his uh, sentry breaker. Ah, yeah, the mimic. Uh oh, but he gets the mimic. Maybe there's. Uh, I, I guess there's there's no way uh, Voita can rest the next gold now. But if he has gold in, in his deck, then he might be in, in trouble, of course. That's what the data sucker is for. And of course, the Mink will do a great job with the Architect now, just breaking for two credits. And he gains a data sucker token. Yeah, and gets to see a card. And sees... I think that was a... Oh, and sees the upgrade. That's a Chrysium. Yes, that's Chrysium. Wow. <laughs> you called it again! <laughs> Well, it's 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 has become kind of a standard card. Yeah, it's really great because you can use it against account siphons and wanton destructions, and legworks. But against a shaper uh, setup like this, you can still put it on R and D to be, uh, protect against uh, Maker's Eye. For example, it yeah. has been. I think someone made a list of the cards. Uh, Crisium Grid actually counters, and it's like yeah. like twenty cards or something like that. Yeah, quite quite a lot. I mean, the most important ones are you know indexing, make us eye, legwork, account siphon, obviously, um, want destruction, uh, even something like uh, dirty laundry helps sometimes. Yep. Yeah. 
Although the dirt around you usually come, you know, something that you play on the server that um, that is completely unprotected. Of course, then somebody might play faint on a HQ, and then it's like it backfires. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> no, no, but I, I've seen some people suggest to put it in criminals because you've seen criminals are having a bad time when they see Chrism Grid on HQ. Yeah, but but not only the criminals. It's basically yeah. every every faction doesn't like to to see a Chrism Grid. Yeah, five to trash is, is pretty hefty. So we see the uh, in Stalin that's a scoring server. Uh, and then again, uh, Ricardo gets the lucky find with a single voice pad, still one voice pad out. But he is comfortably in the lead. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, keep pounding that R&D. Oh, that is a second architect, but the Wojtek doesn't have any any credits. No, he can't res it. Yeah. No, oh, yes, credits, credits, but not enough. No, no, he's not allowed to res it. Ar huh? Ar architect, it's a... Isn't no, it it's unique? Not, no, it's not unique. You can have multiple. That's the architect. Such such a broken card. It has like it's uh it's I I, I could go you know on a rant how broken architect is, but yeah. Okay, I was it assumed is, it was unique. Ooh, and run out of server and no rest from from Wojtek. Like again, try to sneak out something here, and just gives up the extra beta test. Wojtek is really struggling here. I don't think that he's going to have a chance to to. Uh, bounce back yeah it's very difficult it will be very difficult to him because Ricardo already has like his full rig out he uh, has the monetary advantage Wojtek really needs kind of some kind of like real crazy crazy power move to to get out of here yeah he should have done something with another install so that he could um, with an advance so that he could at least uh, fake it as a trap yeah but he's just too low on credits so it's it's just to get there would take him another three turns. Definitely. And just clicking for money here, oof. Like, I feel like there's not enough economy in, in Vortex deck, or at least, like, uh, no, not enough ways to protect this economy, that, that he lost those um, those sexy bots that were so important, I think, for, for what he wants to try, try to do. Yeah, definitely. And if you play with peak efficiency, you want to have lots of rest eyes. And yeah. in order to rest them, you need money again, so... Oh, there is a, a leg work on HQ, leg work on which, HQ. which seems to be a good call, but I see only ice. Yeah, we will be very happy about the results of this leg work. All right, so just three cards, but he still has to access them one after another. And all of these are ice. <laughs> That's something you don't want this. to see, that at least see something that you can trash, but... <laughs> Absolutely, but on the other hand, he knows that, that there is no Grail Ice on board. Ooh, that is a new Ice, Turing. Strength 5, yay! But it's a is, code gate, isn't it? Yeah, uh, and it's two, go two code gates after another. That's something that Guardian Blade just walks over. It's mm -hmm. no problem. Oh, interesting. So um, Ricardo decides to use three Data Sucker tokens. So he doesn't have to even pop the strength and then encounters a... Sexy bot. No money to trash this. Uh, he has the money to say trash the sexy bot, right? Yeah, he has it, but it would, would set him back too much. So he decides to keep it around. What I cannot res it anyway. What it checks the how many cards he has on hand because there is still bra two brain damage going on there. Yeah. Oh man, Wojtek, you just need so much money right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he. he Obviously, doesn't have any cards to kill um, Ricardo right away because there is no influence for it. I don't think the. Oh, nice! Nice! So there is another peak uh, efficiency here. That's really cool. Um, it really helps a lot, but uh, we need more of this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and of course, Ricardo does the money thing way better. Yeah. Already but, way but, up here. But he lost his levy and he probably does only have one. <laughs> that's, that's possible, yeah. And uh, with the prepaid cater, I haven't seen people playing the same old things. They just seem to take up too many slots. Hmm. So you think he just has like the levy uh, is the only way for him to recur. So when it lands in a discard pile, you cannot actually access it anymore? That's it, yeah. 
<sighs> difficult, difficult. Let's see about that. So an uh, RD interface is just the right thing to hit the spot here. Shape yeah. is gonna shape. Shape is gonna access the R and D's mid multi access. That's what they do. That's what they do best. And of course, Ricardo has the money and has all the means to get into the R and D's. Oh, there's, there is a misplay here, I think, because the Chrysium grid doesn't do anything about the R and D interface. Right, it's not a run event. No, it's not. It the the R and D interface says whenever you access cards, not not whenever you have there was a success run on R and D. Oh, they both misplayed. They both haven't realized this. So they uh, Ricardo now access just one card. That is a misplay, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. that, that could cost him the play, but I don't think so. Oh, he's going to check on the card. I think. I think he's going to trash it. Ah, all right. Uh, he decides to trash it. Yeah, that's... oh man. Oh, oh, cringeworthy. There's, uh, there's gonna be so much cringing in the comment section. Yeah, definitely. But Ricardo is at, at uh, match point right now, so... Yeah, like, he just needs to see one agenda and, and it's going to be a game over. Yeah, and it's unlikely that uh, Wojtek has any ones uh, in, his, in, his, um, in his setup. So far we haven't seen any. Ooh, icing up the R and D's of all of uh, the archives of all places. Ricardo ices up. He's down on just two credits. So the trashing of the Chrism Grid really was a big uh, setback to him. Yeah, and it wouldn't have been necessary. No, no absolutely not. And just draws up with the uh, professional contacts. Interesting that the sexy bots are still in that server and ah. Wojtek didn't have the opportunity to res. Oh, this is the same old thing. Oh, and then discarding two professional contacts. That pay that hurts yeah. because you have to play three of those so you, you see them early, but then later on they just become dead draws. So yeah, Wojtek uh, reses the sexy bots. The Adonis campaign gives him three credits every turn for four turns, and then draws up. Lots of ice on hand, no credits to rest this ice. Not yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he starts another server, right? I mean, it's, the sexy bots are really protected right now because for Ricardo, this is going to be a very hefty investment if he wants to get in that into that server. Still, he has all the means. I wonder why there's a data sucker token on. On the data sucker. Hope, hopefully, Ricardo didn't got the data sucker through the run on R&D because that's something that's actually prevented by the Chrysium grid. Yeah, but he took it. He took it from the R&D run, as far as I can remember. Oh man, so many misplays, so many misplays. Well, let's see how this game turns out. Yeah. All right. So we see the the uh, the um, diesel. Speaking of corsets, cards which are really great. Yeah, another one, the diesel. Yeah. Also sees it's, it's it has become a staple, I think. Yeah. Won't go away that quickly. Wojtek uh, unwrapping uh, some kind of candy there. <laughs> it might be too late. <laughs> mm. <laughs> too late for the candy now. <laughs> yeah. Not even that can save you. Dirty laundry on that server. Now, do you really want to rest Wojtek? Do you really want to deny him the economy? Really, Wojtek? Really? He does! <laughs> In your face, another Turing. Strength 5, code gate. I that think won't be a positive, net positive for Ricardo. Yeah, I think he's, he's having the, the credits from, from the Adonis campaign in mind. Yeah. So he will bounce back to 3. Yeah, I guess so. But now he does, can't rest anything, so Ricardo can do like a attack on uh, HQ, I guess. Uh, R&D, I mean. Oh, he does pay for this? Hmm. Huh, interesting. So he did pay for this, wow. And he used the data sucker token to save some money. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Well, I think this this would be the moment. Yeah, exactly. That's the right call. Uh, definitely, gotta check the R and D. You have the R and D interface. That is your plan here. 
Seeing two cars, and that is game, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Handshake. All right, so that was a, a very... Yeah, yeah, Wojtek is already says Edson, so he's not really uh, uh, happy with the way this, this game turned out. Mm. Yeah, well, that was, that was um, predictable, I, I, I have to say. Um, predictable? You mean... Um, the game state was already ag against Wojtek's favor, so... It, I think so, yeah. Like, there is just not enough economy in, Wojte in Wojtek's deck, or at least it, he hasn't shown enough economy that worked out uh, to, to uh, fuel all the ice that he was trying to play. Uh, I really was enjoying, like, the zero override there. I would have hoped to, to see more traps in his deck. But we haven't gotten to see more of them. I wonder if there's some more going on under the hood here. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you will find out if you um, see some more of his games. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see more of his games in tournament. We're going to move on to other other uh, tables. We're going to see. Uh, we saw a nice flip off here, but we're going to move to the other game of this round. But before before we do that, uh, Miguel, you are from Berlin, right? Right. That's correct. Some people may know me from the Nerd Talk uh, podcast, which I um, I'm not the the owner of the podcast. I just am one of the guest commenters there. So, if you're, there are people uh, watching this video who live in or near Berlin, where they can meet up with uh, other Nerd Runners? Um, we usually meet at uh, our local store, the Gamers HQ, mm -hmm. and um, you can find the location on the uh, Netrunner community homepage, uh, Netrunners HQ. Mm -hmm. And um, every Monday we have there our meetings uh, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, some of the people usually go to the pub next door because there are like two or three Irish pubs uh, in, in the vicinity and uh, just continue playing until until curfew. <laughs> More <or less>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And unfortunately I wasn't able to participate with the Euregio and... Um, also the other tournaments everything has been this year so far not very successful for me also in time uh, respect and you know you have to put in the time to to get in the top because you know there's so many people con con participating in those tournaments and so many people doing a lot of practice so it's becoming more and more difficult to get on those top tables yeah that's right sadly sadly all right uh, Miguel so we're gonna move on to the next game I hope you will join me on the next game right of course and uh, we're gonna end this video. You know you, how you usually end those videos? Uh, hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! <laughs> <laughs> hack the planet! <laughs> Shit, on Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hack the planet.